Hey, people. Um, we're in the month of April, and um, it has been a whirlwind. Um, Already. <laughs> if we're looking kind of fatigued, we actually just got back from our final appointment for this go round with the little boy number four. Um, and uh, I think I would say overall, you know, we're still pointing in the right direction. Um, we were able to, I guess what they told us was um, uh, we can begin stretching his appointments out. So instead of going um, every three months, we're able to go stretch him out to six months. So uh, that, that was all positive. Uh, uh, and also, he they have some medication that he takes um, to um, to try and reduce the likeliness of seizures occurring, and they're telling us we can begin to um, try and uh, wean him off of that. Obviously, to wean him off the medication means he got to do more tests, yeah, more doctor visits. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, but all in all. Um, you know, this last visit was was a positive visit. Um, so, don't let our fatigued faces um, make you think something different. Um, those they're just those are, they're just long days. And we also want to say to all of our friends, all of our family members, all of our blogging and video buddies, thank you very much for praying for him and for our family. And please continue to keep us in prayers mm -hmm. okay so um you know we got a lot of feedback or have been getting a good number a good amount of feedback uh from uh, the viewers and um we we got a very interesting question that we uh, thought we would talk about I'll let the wife talk about it first. <laughs> so, and, <laughs> well, go ahead. Um, but but the, the focus was on marriage and dealing with, I think the word they used was fighting. Fighting, right? <laughs> she can't beat me in a fight. <laughs> um, but uh, the, the idea was, are there, do you guys have rules for... Um, instead of fighting, I'll say uh, arguments, arguments, right? Disagreements. Mm -hmm. And I'll let her talk. So, I don't think that we um, have rules per se, but having been married for a little while, almost 17 years, we kind of have a pattern. Our, what is our, just our normal way of dealing with it? And um, what I've learned to do is to give him space. I think that what I've seen a lot of times is let's solve things right away so it's brushed over and everybody's feeling great. But I've learned that my husband needs time to process things. And at first that was like, what are you doing? What? Let's just talk about it. Let's just be like this and hurry up. But um, I learned to respect that space and then also use his needing the space to take that same time and think through it myself so that when we do come back to talk about uh, things again, that I'm not emotionally charged, that I've gone through my feelings, sorted things out, and I know exactly what it is I want to say to him. And, and, you know, so that I'm not so all over the place, that I have more of a, a structured response that I can say point one, point two, point three, and stay on those things, stay on topic. Yeah. I think, again, just to um, piggyback on what she was saying about uh, rules, I, I don't think we have specific rules. I think in general, you know, there are unspoken things as far as, um, you know, this is my spouse, this is my wife, or make certain that I'm not going and um, just deliberately trying to hurt her feelings, um, right? Um, but I, I think from my perspective, one of the things that uh, that I try to do, that I, I know in the beginning of our relationship, I just was thinking it up. Um, but I've been trying to work on it, it is um, 
everyone doesn't receive information the way that I do. Um, a lot of times I like for individuals to shoot straight, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, very linear. That can be kind of harsh at times. Um, so what I've learned is I have to approach her in a way that, or at least try to approach her um, in a way that helps her to hear what it is I'm trying to communicate, right? Um, because I know if I approach her to the way that I like to have information communicated to me, it's just... Shut down. Yeah. Um, and then the, the, the second thing um, that, that I've learned for our relationship that kind of helps is um, I am the type of person that creates my own state. And what I mean by that is, if I need to talk to you, I'm just going to pull you aside. We need to talk. We need to talk right now, right? And that's what it is. And my wife is not like that, so I have to uh, find ways to make certain that I give her a stage, and she feels comfortable using that stage mm -hmm. uh, to voice her concerns, what it may be. So, I think in summary, you know. Um, if we were to say, what are the rules for disagreements in general? You know, we try to make certain that we are always respecting the other person. Um, but number two, when we do try to approach each other, there is a consideration. We try to take into consideration how that person may be receiving the information that you're giving to them to help, um, you know, lessen the length of time out of that but some arguments you know she wanted to argue with me over this uh yeah we almost over <laughs> on what we talked about it's, it's intense <laughs> fellowship <laughs> you know so i think that's um those are just you know the general points you know as all of you know the married folks those you know after arguments is a good time all right um <laughs> <laughs> so um I think I'll leave that one there. Did you have more? Lots of kisses. <laughs> Lots of kisses. Uh, so there's one more thing we have to do. It's our last one. There's a, um, you know, we got home and then this treat box thing was in the mail again. When we got home from the doctor's so, office. <laughs> let's see so what's in the box. All right. So our country is Poland. So I think we gave the clue out last week. It was something about the world's strongest man, and they send us to Poland. All right. So what do we have? This is a pace, a pass. Mm. Oh boy, mm. a pace. Am I holding it the right way? I don't see that on here. I don't know. A pause in the box. Oh, here it is. Oh, drinks. Small, yeah, yeah. little candy. So I told you a pace. Things and it's actually Dre's. Yeah. D-R-A-Z-E. Dre's. All right. To make it something on the birthday cake. All right. And this is. These are. Aha. Sesame snaps. Crunchy bars made with sesame and caramel. Mm. Next, Prince Polo. Oh, this one looks good. Chocolate wafers. Yeah. And this one is. Who's that? Chalua? Chalua? Chawa? Mmm. Chawa. You know this? Yeah. It's looking like a protein bar. Crumbly. It's, it has um, nut butter. Sunflower seeds. Oh, boy. Nut butter is in it. Okay. And this is Zozoli. Zozoli. Fruit or cola flavored candy. Zozoli. So, which one are you going to start Well, with? I got my water. I got a big cup. <laughs> a big cup. Burger King cup. Um, oh, boy. This is a tough choice. Oh. Um, how about we try the protein bar? I'm thinking I'm thinking think this protein. protein it looks like a protein, a protein bar. I'm thinking this protein thing and this sesame seed thing is going to be. Let's do the sesame. Let's do that one first. 
sesame and caramel rolled nice. over a wafer. Here, I'll break your piece. Mine's gonna be way bigger than yours. No, you just gotta make sure you taste this it. This is why you All argue right, you with ready? people. <laughs> It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not very sweet. Mm, what does it remind you of, though? I can't give you anything to remind you of. Mm. It, has a... it has like a cracker texture. Mm -hmm. I'm not tasting it again. She can taste it again. I'm okay with the first taste. It's not terrible. Yeah. It's not terrible. Alright, let's taste the protein bar. Chalua. Chawa. What's in this? This one is made from more sesame, sesame oh, paste, heck. and other nut butters such as sunflower, uh, sunflower seed butter. Yeah, this, oh, hold on, that, this looks like a protein bar. It looks like the nougat inside of a um, candy bar. Here, let me uh, give you a piece. I'll take my piece. Okay. That's what it looks like. It looks like a nougat. Kind of thing. It's not that bad. You may not like it. Mm -mm. That tastes good. Yeah, this is not that bad. This is not that bad. It melts in your mouth. It's not very, it's not crunchy at all. It kind of, kind of like a butterfinger, but uh, softer. No, what are the other ones? A, what are the ones that shaped like a peanut? This is like a butterfinger, but I think it's like a butterfinger. The taste of a butterfinger, but all right. it's soft. Mm, it's shaped like a nutter butter. I know I didn't eat nutter butter. <laughs> That's what he said. Alright, so we're moving on to Dre's. You're good. Okay, these are supposed to be um, creamy and delicious candies that taste like an icing on a birthday cake. Go ahead, you got your yours. I know, I still have the other one in my mouth. <laughs> These are excellent. These are excellent. Those taste like orange cream sickles. Did you want some more? No, you can have them. These are very good. It tastes like orange cream popsicles. Are they all orange? Maybe. I think so. These are really mm. good. Here. They taste just like orange cream sickles. Did I eat them? I said, yeah, they were all I'm. You or you want the, mm -hmm. the protein bar? These are good though. Alright. Zoles. Zoles. Zozole. Zozole. If this is spicy, is well, it spicy? Mm -mm. It says uh, fruit or cola flavor. So it's like guess. Oh. So we should eat these last because these are hard candies. Alright. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Now we'll go to Prince Polo. You know, I used to be friends with uh, Polo before I got to college and had kids. Me and Ralph, we were close. But then kids came along. What are you talking about? It's Polo. Oh, Polo. That's yeah. That's terrible. That's <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Okay. <laughs> so these are chocolate wafers, four layers of milk chocolate. Around the layers. So I bet you uh, the oldest likes these. Uh -huh. but show them Here, just take a piece. Four layers. You, you take this bigger piece. Okay. Mm. It's alright. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's good. It reminds you of the regular wafers at the store that come in strawberry, mm -hmm. vanilla, or chocolate. This mm -hmm. is good. Alright. So let's try this candy. This last piece. This last piece. So they must all be strawberry. Aren't you real? Well, I think it's, oh, there's, no. oh, there's apple. Here, you try the strawberry, I'll try the apple. Apple, a cherry, apple, and a strawberry. Good. What do you have, apple? I have apple. Oh, oh I'm going to try a strawberry. So these are like Jolly Ranchers. They're great. Mm -hmm. That does it. We did the treat box. <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> Um, I think this one was what? One, two, three, four. I think we were four out of five with this one. Mm -hmm. The sesame seed. Uh, you know, so. But folks, um, hope you enjoyed this vlog for this month. We'll be doing another one. Um, 
Uh, in May. In May. Just keep sending your questions. Um, keep praying. We'll pray for you as well. If you have prayer requests, shoot them our way so we can all know. All right? That's it. All right now. Love you guys.